want to be sure that you understand all the experiments that we do are dangerous unless we really know what's going on. In this experiment, I'm going to take a piece of transite, which was a hole in it, and I'm going to put it on top of this tripod, and then I'm going to take a piece of copper. You see, it's shiny. And what I'm going to do is heat this copper by turning on the, the burner. Now, we learned that when we burn something, that combines with oxygen, right? The com combination with oxygen is the burning reaction that we talked about, the combustion reaction. And we're going to heat this very, very strongly. And I want you to watch and see if you can make any observations about the copper piece that we have here. And what you have to do is watch the, watch the monitor. You see it's quite shiny and it's of course hot, so I won't. Can you begin to see what's happening to it? When the copper gets very hot, it reacts with the oxygen that's in the air to produce a coating of copper oxide. And copper oxide has a different color than pure copper. And you see the darkness is the copper oxide that you have. And let's heat this a little bit more. Make sure it's really hot. Now watch what happens if I take this burner and try to heat the copper oxide from the outside. Can you see what's happening to the copper oxide? It depends how closely I put the flame to the piece of copper. That's because the flame itself has at least two zones. One is called an oxidizing zone and one is called a reducing zone. And when the copper oxide is in the reducing zone, it goes back to copper. When it's in the oxidizing zone, it goes to copper oxide. Now, if I, I, want, to, I want to heat this really um, quite, quite well, because the next part that I'm going to try to do, and that's the dangerous part, is I will turn off the flame and I will bathe this entire assembly in an atmosphere of hydrogen gas, okay? And of course, we don't want any flames or any sparks near the hydrogen gas because then the reaction will go out of control. And what I have, I have this, I have this big funnel, and with Fred's help, when I turn off the burner, Fred will turn on the cylinder and let some hydrogen out and will try to bathe this entire assembly in hydrogen and see what happens. Okay, Fred. Okay, I'm off now. Now watch. Here's hydrogen flowing through and we put the hydrogen and you get copper. You lift it up, you get copper oxide. You have copper copper oxide, copper, copper oxide. As long as it's hot and you have this source of hydrogen, you can carry out this reaction, oxidation reduction reaction. There's copper and there's copper oxide.